What's up guys, Travis Rice Tech here. We're finally able to order the new iPhone 12. But before you guys do that, I want to discuss a few things that I think you should know. That way, you guys will be able to order the best iPhone that's suitable for you. I did all the research so you guys didn't have to, and I'll try my best to help you guys come to a purchasing decision. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. This is going to be a quick video, so let's get started. The first thing you guys need to know is if you're thinking about buying that iPhone 12 mini, you need to think about the battery life. The iPhone 12 mini is the smallest iPhone in all of Apple's current lineup, and that means they had to sacrifice in certain areas to meet that size criteria. In this case, the iPhone 12 and 12 mini share the same specs and features, so Apple had to lower the battery capacity in order to make the size fit, while the iPhone 12 mini has the worst battery capacity other than the budget iPhone SE. And to give you a quick idea, the iPhone 12 lasts for 65 hours for audio playback, but the iPhone 12 mini only lasts for 50. So you guys will have to consider your usage, especially since 5G uses more power than LTE. The second thing you should know is that you don't necessarily need to upgrade to the Pro model to get a nice looking display. All the new iPhones use a Super Retina XDR display. This is a high resolution OLED panel. It has a contrast ratio of 2 million to 1, and they share a peak brightness of 1200 nits when watching HDR content. But when you're not watching HDR content, the Pro models actually do have a brighter display. To give you the specifics, they're 800 nits brightness compared to the typical 625. I definitely wouldn't say that brighter display warrants an upgrade to the Pro model, but I'll touch on this more later. The third thing you guys should know is that all the new iPhones share the same protective features. Just last year, when you were picking between the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, you had to consider the different IP68 waterproof ratings. The iPhone 11 could survive 2 meters deep, and the 11 Pro survived 4 meters deep. But this year, we get the same IP68 rating across the board. They'll all survive for 6 meter deep water up to 30 minutes. And same goes with the front glass and display. We're going to see that new ceramic shield across all the new iPhones. That means we're going to get 4 times better draw protection, and we don't need to pay extra for a more durable iPhone. The fourth thing you guys need to know is that you don't need to pay extra for better 5G. Unlike other manufacturers, Apple has put in the same 5G connectivity across all their 5G phones. This includes a millimeter wave even down to the iPhone 12 mini. That means all iPhones will enjoy the fastest connectivity. I think my next two points are the most important in choosing your iPhone. And the first one is the camera. All four iPhones did get an upgrade for their camera system. The night mode is more flexible, and there's a new wide angle lens with a faster f1.6 aperture. This allows 27% more light for better nighttime photography. But the iPhone 12 Pro Max takes it to a whole nother level. Underneath that wide angle lens, we see a new sensor. This sensor is larger, and combined with that faster aperture, we see an 87% improvement in low light performance. We also got a new way to stabilize the camera when taking photos and videos. They call it sensor shift, and this is actually a feature that's found in higher end DSLRs. It physically moves around the sensor to counteract any shakiness when the camera's in use. Overall, all the cameras got upgraded, but if you're looking for the best one, make sure you pick the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The last thing I want to mention is specific, but it's very important. If you are thinking about buying the 128 gig regular iPhone 12, I want you to consider getting the iPhone 12 Pro instead. The reason for that is that they increased the price of the regular iPhone 12 by $100, but they also doubled the capacity for the base model iPhone Pro. It will also come with 128 gigabytes, but for $150, you'll get a much more premium phone. It will be made with better materials like the stainless steel band, and it will look nicer with the matte glass back. You'll also get that extra telephoto lens to take more photos, and the LiDAR sensor to help you with your autofocus. And don't forget, it's a brighter 800 nits display. And if I were you picking between the 128 gig models, I would definitely, definitely get the 12 Pro. These were things that people didn't really think about, but if you have any more questions, make sure you ask me in the comments down below, or join me on my Discord community and we can chat there. The link will be in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy your new iPhone. Anyway, that's it for me. Peace.